Okay, let's have a look at the table now. So we've got Leinster leading the way, seven from seven. We've got an eight point gap on Ulster, who do have a game in hand there in second. But that remember that game in hand is in South Africa and it may not even be played. Third, then we have the the Bulls. Nice win for them over the Sharks. Has them in good contention. They're hunting down Ulster. Just behind them on the same points as well are the Stormers, who won the other South African derby at the weekend. Then we have Edinburgh, who, as I said, really are getting their attacking game going. They, they, they will be challenged by one of the top teams at some point, and that's where we're going to really see you know, how much they have progressed. Then we have Cardiff in sixth, followed by Glasgow in seventh. Two teams who've had some nice displays this season, but then some, you know, inconsistent form as well. Got the Sharks in eighth at the moment for that last last playoff spot. But there's plenty of teams who are just right behind them who are going to want to knock them off. Got the Lions just after them as well. Lions have had a difficult run of fixtures they've come close to some teams who are ranked higher than them but haven't been able to pull out the win dragons have been steadily climbing the table and they're now up to 10th we then have benetton who have been going in the other direction and they're down into 11th connacht have kind of stabilized now around about the 12th position at the minute and they're probably going to be somewhere around there for the next little while for the next few few rounds. Ospreys, who've not really gotten the season going, seeing themselves down in 13th. And Munster, who are a place below them, haven't really gotten the results going, but the performances are starting to come. But as I said about the Dragons a few rounds ago, they've got to start producing results and not just performances. Scarlets, who've had a really poor start to the season find themselves in 15th place and the the they'll be thanking the rugby gods that zebra zebra's form has fallen off a cliff in the last few rounds and th that potential of zebra winning a game seems to have gone away for a while at least zebra are there propping up the table hopefully now they can take a break once we get back into round eight after the November internationals. I'm hoping that Zebra can go back to performance that we saw in rounds, you know, one and two rather than in round six and seven. Okay, so you or C are on the break for a while now while we have the November internationals. I'm going to be trying to cover some of the November internationals. I won't be able to cover them all. I might do some of them in a kind of roundup format the way I do for URC as well but there are some of the big games that I want to cover on their own and then I also want to if I can get some coverage as well for the women's rugby world cup that's going on at the minute maybe cover the semi-finals and finals for that so there's going to be plenty more rugby coming on the channel while the URC is on a break but in terms of your team now how do you think they've gone in the first block? And in terms of your nation, how do you think they're going to go for the November internationals?